हेलो एवरीवन डॉक्टर नवीन हियर फ्रॉम यूपीएससी मेडिको इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस डोमेन ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस इज ऑप्शनल आई हैव बीन मेंटोरिंग द एस्पिरेंट्स यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंट्स हु आर फ्रॉम मेडिकल साइंसेस बैकग्राउंड फॉर द पास्ट फाइव टू सिक्स इयर्स द जर्नी स्टार्टेड इन टू वेरिन आई पोस्टेड माई फर्स्ट वर्कशॉप इट्स देर इन द यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रॉम देर ऑन वी वर कवरिंग lot many aspects related to medical sciences as asp- uh, optional and also upsc preparation as a whole so i have been mentoring and guiding almost 1000 plus doctors for now and now i am back with another strategy video for fresh academic year that is 2025 and 26 so this time i am not keeping it lengthy like 1 hour or 2 hour workshop video this is a crisp and concise strategy video for upsc aspirants who are going to do it with medical sciences as their optional now when i say this this includes lot lot, lot and lot of questions which are asked by aspirants before starting their preparation so it will work like a beginners guide and it will also help you in strategizing your uh, schedule and also timeline for the upcoming 25 attempt So, what are all the key points that I am trying to cover in this video? The first and foremost, I wanted to give you an orientation as a beginner. What are all the aspects of UPSC exam? What are all the key areas to focus, and also the tips to success? And next, we'll focus on the high yield areas to score high in medical sciences optional. So, uh, that will include the common mistakes done by medical sciences optional. So, with my past experience of five to six years, I will let you know. what are all the things to correct in the initial part of your preparation and what schedule or timeline to be followed for the upcoming 25 attempt and how to use upsc medico courses for optional preparation now before getting into the details let me tell you the future is bright and future is even brighter for medical science optional students the reason with facts i'll tell you when we started this in 2019 and 2020 we had two students from there on we had seven in the list in 2020 we had eight in the list in 2021 with almost two to three students in the top 100 and now in 2022 when the first batch of combo course is out we had around 17 aspirants from medical science optional in the list from upsc medico okay and now currently for the upcoming interview there are around 50 plus students who are attending interview from upsc medico so with this basic knowledge and idea i think you are good to start and the future is bright yes i know the journey of upsc is a long journey that too for a medical science aspirant or student with a medical background we are lone warriors okay we are aliens in the medical community because everyone else is busy with their pg entrance examination or practicing or entering into the some other domains of medical thing it's very important that even after being alone okay you need a good hand to hold and a good person to guide so before starting your preparation let's assume a hypothetical situation that your doctor x right it can be from medical mbbs background or non mbbs background now very important thing is you have to understand the essence of upsc what is upsc is trying to get out of you because the exam the process or a cycle of exam we all have a myth that it's a one year attempt okay or let's say it's a one year effort it's actually the exam runs in a cycle of it the exam runs in a cycle of 18 to 24 months how 18 to 24 months i'll tell you now you let's say i'm recording this video in feb 2024 the first part of the feb 2024 let's assume that you're starting your preparation on day 1 now now you will be giving your if you're targeting 2025 you will be you giving your prelims in may 2025 after that after 100 day period may june july august so august to september so in september around september you will be giving your mains you will be giving your mains so may 2025 will be your prelims and after the mains there will be around the 7 days gap for optional after that after getting results you will be attending your interviews in the month of january to march okay um, this is 26 
and results will be out one week before next prelims one week before next prelims that means you'll get your results in may 2026 now you're starting in february you'll be giving your prelims around uh, let's say 15 months time from now from there on the cycle will go up to may 2026 so your preparation should include our target both the may attempts that is may 2025 and may 2026 because the results will come just before seven days that whether you are an ias or an ips you will know it in may 2026 so the whole cycle takes around 18 to 24 months depending upon when you are starting your preparation okay there are two sets of students some of them will be starting in jan to march time wherein their internship is over there are few set of students they start in may okay once they give prelims or once they decide to give prelims then they'll realize that their preparation is not up to the mark wherein then they try to change the strategy and start the preparation even if you're starting in may 2025 during the prelims or you will have to continue your preparation till may 2026 and even after that like you know the process right the cycle repeats so you should be ready for all these odds this is the first thing i wanted to tell you now from orientation point of view first and foremost you know that it runs in a cycle of 18 to 24 months that's why our combo course wherein we offer help for medical sciences optional it comes with two years of validity so that even in the second year of your preparation after giving mains and waiting for the interview you still have access to the medical content so that's the purpose of a two-year validity i had seen many of the students getting confused and worried that do we need to prepare medical science optional for two years no the answer is no because the two-year validity is to give you a continued assistance and guidance for the next two year cycle right it's not that you should prepare the whole optional for two years now when i see this as an orientation how much time should be allotted how much time should be allot for optional so that's it. that is the next point i wanted to tell you so for that So the time to be allotted for optional depends upon the how much weightage optional carries. So the optional, optional, the weightage is almost 30%. That means you will be giving your exam for a total 2025, right? This is the target marks, the final marks. Out of that, the highest mark scored by any student, okay, in the history of UPSC is Durusheti, you know, right? He, so Durusheti sir has scored in the range of 53.5% that means the exam the evaluation is so tough even after preparing for 6 years Durusheti sir was able to score in the range of 50% so your target is 50% out of this 2025 marks the optional itself carries a weightage of 500 marks that means it comes around 30 percent of the weightage so optional has abundant weightage in the total marks of upsc that's why optional is crucial and deciding factor in your rank and putting you in the list it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you should only focus on optional no because i had seen many of the doctors or medical science aspirants before starting their preparation they put undue pressure on medical sciences as an optional okay i'm telling you the hypothetical situation of dr x that when before start like most of the aspirants when they start their preparation time like this is the starting point of their preparation first in the initial part of their preparation they want to finish the static portion of upsc general studies and then they go for optional because once the optional headache is over you can very well get to with the current affairs part the prelims preparation then the mains answer writing part so the process continues so first part or initial part of preparation when you're starting when you're beginning as a beginner we always focus on the static gs ncrt books to understand the basic subjects and then we focus on optional the biggest advantage of medical science as an optional is you don't need any value addition 
or you don't you don't need any of the new content addition or hypothetical or philosophical adjustment to your answers it's purely static so whatever you read you only need to revise okay it's a static portion you only need to revise that so when you're beginning your optional as we are from medical sciences background the problem we face is from medical science background the basic problem we face is all these days our brains are tuned to learning the static portion and yes there are concepts but memory based from this now we are jumping into an ocean of general studies wherein the content is purely dynamic ever evolving ever though it's easy it's ever evolving and yes challenging to keep track of the content what is happening like you have to be on your toes to understand what is happening with the world what is happening with the india so two are two of these things are different ball games all together you see the static portion memory based optional like medical science optional and the dynamic gs so this is dynamic so the switch what i say is the switch between these two should be practiced from the initial part of your preparation when you get bored of the gs content your heart always says because you are a doctor or a medical student you can just open your book and revise medical science to keep in touch with medical science so first thing as a beginner the first point what i already told you is it is a cycle of 18 to 24 months so tune your brain or uh, plan according to that the second point i want to tell you is very importantly it's a switch from static to dynamic you have to practice it from the initial part of your preparation because i had seen few of the students they're getting kind of for example they have a challenging 100 day period to prepare for gs exam then they have a seven day prepare day period to memorize and revise for optional subjects because there will be a gap of seven days in between the exam from gs exam mains to optional exam so the sudden switch might not be well practiced in few cases and in those cases they find it difficult right so start it from the initial part keep in touch with the static subject so this is the second orientation part i want to give you right so the you know the how the exam runs the pattern you know how, how is the cycle and you know what is the switch for medical sciences optional now i'll give you a general pattern of the exam so that you can plan it accordingly as it as i told you when you start your preparation you have prelims as a first step okay prelims is step 1 and this prelims includes two things one is scoring general study exam and the other is qualifying it's just a qualifying in nature but a nightmare for medical science optional students and any other student because the pattern is changing that is csat exam so what i want you to do is as a medical science optional student because we are into medicine i can't say that we lost mathematical abilities i can only say that because we are not practicing we are not in touch with the mathematical ability logical understanding and all ethical reasoning paragraph comprehension so these kind of words are new to us so give utmost priority to the csat part because as we go by if in the last 3 to 4 years according to the analysis they are making it tough so the filtering process from 10 lakh aspirants or 10 to 15 lakh aspirants they have to filter out 10 thousands of students and they are trying to do it with the help of the csat now if we don't practice basic equations logical understanding mathematical ability and paragraph comprehension from the initial part of our preparation though we are bright brilliant with high iq the medical science medical aspirants the doctors are facing difficulty in qualifying csat person let me put it this way we have combo course we have test series running we have hundreds of doctors who are writing exams and when they are practicing i see very good answers from most of the medical science students and students are scoring in the range of almost 360 to 370 for 500 in the grand test but i am not seeing in them in the final list the reason is they are not understanding the qualifying nature of csat they are ignoring it they are starting it very late and 
after passing of the time the crucial time then they are realizing that the society is the crucial factor because if you can't qualify prelims how come you are supposed to enter into the mains right the first part is prelims now in that sense from prelims to mains journey the biggest obstacle for any medical science optional student is the qualifying nature of the csat so as a beginner as i am giving you the right guidance the orientation part please stress upon the csat part okay work on it from the initial part of your preparation if you go through the topper interviews which are uploaded in the youtube channel you might have seen that you might have observed that even the toppers are saying even the toppers have joined coaching for csat to just to qualify it okay so i i want you to understand this as a third learning or as an orientation so the third point is please 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 write it on a paper never ever ignore csat as a medical science optional student because many of the doctors are stuck at the stage of not even clearing prelims but many of the doctors once they clear prelims with one to two attempts when they enter mains they were able to do well because from mains to optional seven day gap from optional to interview so in this steps so i'll call it as a step step 1 is prelims step 2 is mains step 3 is optional exam and step 4 is interview so many of the doctors are stuck stuck at step 1 once they pass through the step 1 to step 2 the remaining journey is becoming easy for them why so inherently we are hard working people we can memorize a lot of content during our board exams we are practiced to writing theory exams for 4 to 5 years so in that sense we are performing well in the mains exam we are performing well to such an extent even after scoring in the range of 270 our doctors are in the list of top 20 so medical science even if they are scoring 270 also because gse is a cake work easy subjects if you if you work hard on it definitely you will be in top 20 or top 10 so the first step is becoming very critical for medical science optional students this is what i observed with la past 5 to 6 years of experience so once you clear once you enter to the step 2 medical science uh, optional students they are facing a little of difficulty because if they don't start early the medical science optional preparation in the prelims to main stage is tough if you want to start optional answer writing along with the mains answer writing that is gs plus optional answer writing at the same time so this 100 day period is becoming very very tough people are unable to manage time so that's why in many of my strategy videos before in workshops i i beg students to finish off subject wise test writing for optional in the prelims to main stage only for example if you're starting today in the feb 24 you will be giving your if your target is 2025 you will be giving your exam in may 25 before may 25 itself make sure that you finish off all the subject wise tests this is very important make sure that you finish off all the subject wise tests before may 25 so this is the fourth point i want to tell you start answer writing early along with the regular preparation of the gs because this 100 day period is becoming very tough for us from there on we have an interview stage we are lucky that a mere statement that you are already a doctor and a medical person itself will give you the 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 board the examiner board will definitely respect you because you are already in the society you are a respectable person so there is a bias of around 10 to 20 marks in the final interview what i observed in the last 5 years if the regular student is getting 160 from humanitarian thing the average marks in the interview scored by a medical science aspirant is 175 to 180 because of their profile as a doctor so that way you have a plus 20 marks here so even if you are getting minus 20 in medical science optional instead of getting 300 even if you are getting 2 280 please remember that you are getting an additional 20 in the interview because as a doctor inherently i personally feel that our fraternity we have good iq concepts logical reasoning and communication skill so in that sense if you are good at that definitely you score well in this so these are the different steps of uh, the upsc journey and in each step what are all the points that should you should focus as a medical science optional student that is give due respect to the csat this is one thing i wanted to tell you start answer writing early and interview you have an advantage but think of the interview from the initial part of preparation itself okay so that is also important why that is important i'll tell you when you 
look at the interview the interview process will be it's like the gen they don't expect a speciality knowledge of medicine from you they only expect a basic understanding of medicine and what is going on with the world so for that what we are trying to do is we are trying to give in the blog section or article section of upsc medico website we are posting whatever is the latest updates latest updates of medicine okay that to syllabus related you don't need to know anything out of the box but anything which is syllabus related you should understand the importance of it right we are posting it just keep in touch with that so the remaining part of interview how to guide and all we do have interview guidance programs from optional perspective so we are conducting it for the past 2 to 3 years with uh, live uh, interaction with the previous year toppers they will guide you like how to go ahead and all so that is anyway there so that is one important thing that you need to understand from orientation part so i think uh, we're good to go like you have the basic understanding the cycle of the exam how to go ahead and important prompts from medical science option and next thing is yes you have opted for medical science see now i won't discuss whether medical science optional is good or not what is the key differences between neat pg versus medical science optional preparation i am from non mbbs background how to do well in medical science so these things are separately discussed in the strategy video of 2024 it's a lengthy video for two hours please take some time it's there in the youtube channel of upsc medical just go through it you'll understand the advantages of medical science plan a versus plan b the common mistakes done by medical science optional students i did discuss them in detail so i am now keeping it crisp now here i am only discussing how to score high in medical science optional okay how to score high in medical science optional in that sense please and please now let's assume that you are starting your preparation with upsc medical today okay your preparation time you're starting it today why i'm saying today because different people started the different timelines now when you're starting it today you should first have my focus guide which is uploaded in the website for free as a holy book you should you should catch hold of it understand it there is a separate sales bus understanding video posted in the youtube channel of upsc medical as a beginner's guide go through the syllabus because we have a myth that the syllabus is huge or vast okay so this myth is from previous year toppers not from 2020 because from 2020 21 2022 all the toppers are upsc medical toppers they never talk bad about this optional from 2019 or before if you see any five year or four year or six year topper videos don't get disheartened by the fact that you are a medical science option student because for them guidance and mentorship of upsc medical was not available it's it's uh, it's bad that they couldn't get any guidance okay and uh, they failed in a sense to understand the essence of the exam demand of the exam to understand the syllabus how to finish it crisply concisely and make it revisable and all there are multiple things multiple flaws and we made it easy for the students in the upcoming years that's why when you start looking at interviews from 2020 21 2022 not even a single student speaks bad about medical science optional because they don't understand the crux of the optional okay so we always needed guidance which was not there before from upsc medical science optional point of view now when you see this when you understand the syllabus from my uh, the lengthy video of two hour video which is uploaded in the youtube channel that after understanding the syllabus we all know upsc exam is pyq based almost 80 to 90 percent of the questions are repeat questions now never miss out on pyqs that's why in upsc medical courses we we put due pressure on all the pyq starting from 2009 to 2023 we have given separate model answers for 2019 to 2023 the last five years of question and answer pattern model answers also we are providing we are also providing previous year paper discussions previous year paper analysis which is also posted in the youtube channel kindly go through it so when we do all these things one more important thing or a common mistake what uh, medical science optional students do is like when they call me sir is it enough whatever we are doing with UPSC medical is it enough or whatever I am doing it on my own is it enough so never ask this question is it enough it's a hypothetical question there is no yes or no for these kind of questions in medical science optional or UPSC preparation in general the top one ranker of last year said 
we are never ready for this exam i have never expected this rank i thought i left out 50% of the syllabus i couldn't revise but still i was able to achieve rank number 1 because you only need to score 50% in this exam this is not a 95% to 99% scoring exam please understand this thing never try to complete everything or learn everything or try to for sense of completion which is actually non beneficial or harmful for your dreams only and only focus to learn less revise more practice even more when you see any aspirant who failed or who gave multiple attempts two to three attempts you know what they do instead of learning everything they start their answer writing at the earliest okay so they do have their own um uh, preparation style okay they might have material from the coaching or they might have prepared their own material but they work on it they make value additions content uh, additions to it and on top of that they start their answer writing early like you take example of dr kiran mai who scored 500 rank in the past okay all india rank she was in danix from there on her journey she made it to ias list she scored rank 56 just by starting answer writing early she has realized the fact that there's no point of learning everything okay whatever you know you have to strengthen it okay you have to practice it so learn less revise more practice even more do not try for sense of completion if you know these two things okay if you know the boundaries for preparation never go beyond syllabus of upsc even if they ask one or two questions here and there never go beyond pyqs you have to master the pyqs stick to the syllabus master the pyqs do not try for sense of completion never ask this question is it enough nothing is enough in this universe because the human mindset is such that and learn less revise more practice even more and practice early okay write all these points on the paper before starting your preparation okay these are vital and very very important now we are done with five important points like how to score high in medical and optional the next thing what you need to do is you have to focus on high yield areas okay high yield areas while preparing like if you are starting medical science today with me okay for any topic for any topic uh, let's presume that you have joined a medical pg institute you are referring to their content you have their own notes okay they have their own notes which is crisp and they only give previous year question points with high yielded areas like they say most common cause of this 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 okay most common cause of hematitis is peptic ulcer disease they will never say all the causes they will never list you 10 or 12 causes of peptic ulcer disease but in upsc they will never ask you what is the most common cause of this thing they will give you a scenario of hematitis then ask you evaluate it evaluate the differential diagnosis the flow chart or algorithm which are never discussed in neat pg or any medical pg entrance examination or any mcq based test so then the students they start finding it difficult to do answer writing for a 20 mark question with 5 marks knowledge you cannot give crisp and concise and pg kind of points in the upsc upsc medical science optional exam is purely a theory based exam you need right guidance in the right direction right you can't do it with just a crisp and concise content from pg notes i'll tell you with more examples because it, you might be sorry, some of you might be using uh, some subscriptions which are expensive then you think that i can't go for another subscription let me make use of the available resources but what is the disadvantage with these available resources let me highlight you okay because that is affecting the final score of the aspirants okay if you don't know this is the initial part of preparation what is the point of realizing it in 2026 then coming back and giving two more attempts then in the interviews you will say that i have been preparing for last four years so i had to change all these things see life will anyway teach you the experience will anyway teach you how to go ahead but before that if you have an experienced mentor who can guide you from the initial part of your preparation i think you are lucky in that the guru is always lucky right so he will not let you travel in the path of defeat he will kind he will straight away direct you in the path of the victory with his own experience so with my experience what i am trying to convey is you will never get introductory points you will never they will never teach you definitions or they'll never give you conclusion points in any pg and preparation or books they'll only give you the main body what are all the important points so you have to work on introduction definitions and conclusions from the initial part of your preparation 
if you are parallelly preparing for general studies by now you will understand what are these points in answer writing like when you write about something you need to know like when they say brachial plexus if you see a pg video they'll dilate is c1 c2 c3 but if you go for upsc medico video or notes we'll give you like what is a brachial from where it starts from where it ends any new things that have happened with brachial plexus what is the conclusion is there any sacral plexus like this is there any other plexus in the body so this is how you have to prepare in a theory centric way not a mcq based way now one more important area wherein people are finding it difficult to score high in medical science specialties they will never make you practice in pg entrance examinations or even during our theory days the the graduation days we never practice images but images they carry high weightage in medical science option if you open the question paper and see the instructions it's clearly mentioned in the instruction of the final medical science paper that use use color pencils wherever necessary to draw appropriate diagrams so if they are giving that point means that itself says they they will give you more marks if they see a image instead of text and also i have seen in the recent past all the toppers who scored well they use flow charts or management algorithms in management part of clinical paper to score high and also case based differential diagnosis approaches carrying more weightage and if you parallelly prepare for neat pg or any medical pg you do understand that these things are not touched in the pg preparation these are different from the ups because why i'm touching these important points i get lot many calls on a daily basis sir i have subscribed to something which is very expensive i can't start on my own so what to do what are all the changes that should bring in my preparation according to the upsc style so these are the things because if you ignore this you will never score if you don't know about introduction they simply ask you define envenomation if you go and open toxicology pg videos they will never teach you what is envenomation what is science of it they'll directly go to uh, how to manage uh, the snake poisoning what is the composition of asv they'll give you five or six points how to identify a snake so that pattern is different but here what is envenomation what are the common species found in india how what will you do if a patient comes to you you have to know the whole algorithm which is not told in that so that's why practice images flow charts management algorithms case based approaches differential diagnosis discussion so we stress upon these facts with utmost importance in our regular classes now tests are a must for better practice you have to practice tests because this is a game of answer writing this is not a game of mcq a b c d right or 1 2 3 4 you can't choose options here for example there was a question which was asked stretch reflex you know stretch reflex the weightage was 20 marks there was a question on what is the composition of ors and how to prepare the weightage was 8 to 10 marks Right. so these kind of questions you should be ready with content like how to how to write a 20 marks content for stress reflex i think your content writers right most of the civil service preparing students aspirants you read lot of editorial columns and you might have seen an editor a good editor in a hindu he can fill the whole page with the same topic or if asked to write he can concise it the whole topic in a five mark page also like one side of a single a4 size page you should develop that ability for this exam that is very important and tests are a better way to practice that and there are gray zones in the syllabus which you need to focus from medical science point of view gray zones in the sense like every year they ask same question from the same topic but a different question topics are same for example you take cranial nerves they ask every year a new cranial nerve you take vitamins and minerals they talk, they kind of give you new mineral or new vitamin every year right so these kind of topics there are around 15 to 20 topics of gray zones which i stress upon in my daily answer writing program in regular video course and also in the notes these are very important all these have been uploaded for example you have a glomerulonephritis also you have psgn minimal change post streptococcal Uh, you have membranous glomerulus membrano proliferative glomerulus rapidly proliferative glomerulus they can ask any question from these kind of gray zone topics you might think that like if you only prepare pvqs in the topics it's not enough so in the future prospects of upsc medico we are also trying to touch and give utmost respect to this gray zones in syllabus and one more area which is very important to focus nowadays for medical science optional is yes 80 to 90% are repeats but there are 10% of the questions which are coming from unasked version that means they might not have asked it in the recent from suddenly a question from 2010 will pop up Co suddenly a question from 2017 will pop up you are in the era of 25 26 
you might have ignored you might have only seen five years of questions so this unasked questions new topics which was asked, like for example last year they asked a question on chronic pelvic pain which was never asked okay chronic pelvic pain and they're asking some questions from medical diagnosis like what is the role of ultrasound in management of liver abscess so these kind of questions the problem is they are coming in question number one and question number five which are mandatory parts if you don't know how the question paper is let me briefly give you the pattern of the question paper then i'll come back to it because many of the students they realize the pattern of the paper only after writing the first practice test with me okay let me tell you that you have two papers paper one and paper two in the exam as i've told you in the initial part of our video the weightage is for five marks you have a paper one and paper two paper one includes section a and section b and the topics are anatomy biochemistry physiology here pathology microbiology forensic medicine and pharmacology now in paper two section a section b section a you have general medicine which includes psychiatry and dermatology and you have a pediatrics in section b you have general surgery obg and psm now there's no anesthesia there's no radiology separately there's no detailed ortho there are only three topics from ortho there's fracture of spine uh, what is that bone tumors and osteomyelitis which we did covered in our regular test series part now there's no major subjects like ent and ophthalmology so subjects have been omitted when you see all these subjects when you look at the question paper in section a they will cover questions from these three topics anatomy biochemistry and physiology and the weightage is like this like if you have eight questions one two three four five six seven eight in a one paper this is paper one similarly paper two also you have eight questions each question carries 50 marks and there are two sections section a and section b you have to attempt question number one as a mandatory you have to attempt question number five as a mandatory you cannot leave this question there's no choice for question number one and question number five question number two three four out of this you can either attempt two or three question number six seven eight two or three so mandatorily we have to attempt at least two questions from each section at least two questions from each section four questions are over the five out of eight clause is there you have to attempt five out of eight questions to score 250 in a paper so the fifth question can be chosen from either of these sections hope you're getting my point in a similar way paper two so the final weightage is for five uh, 500 marks and as i told you the durishetti who is the topper he, in his optional what he scored was 317 out of 500 so they will give you if you are too excellent they will give you in the range of 300 the average for medical science in the recent past in last five years is around 280 if you want to go from 280 to 300 you have to score that extra 20 marks which are coming from unasked version and they are including this unasked version in the question number one and five which are mandatory sections so in the coming days in the future prospects of upsc medico we are we have already included lot of unasked topics in the test series for practice so if you practice you can cover this the main video discussion will focus on 90 percent of the essential topics which are easily memorizable and revisable because i am always a fan of saying that never chase after unknown or rare things learn common thing first because you are not here to compete with the examiner you are here to compete with your competitors so that is very important i think we are done with what are the key areas or high yield areas to focus and how to start your medical science optional preparation i already gave you schedule and timeline briefly let me write it again here for example for example <coughs> this is the first month of your preparation let's say your prelims is in 12 months so in this 12 months of preparation if you're starting your preparation okay let's say you are a combo course student combo course is it includes 220 hours plus videos exclusive notes and also test series test series now we have new tests like 12 subject wise tests separately and three grand tests two live grand tests with a two year of validity okay why two year of validity i tell you after 12 months you have to still continue your preparation right so in the first 12 months of preparation let's say pre prelims phase you are lucky if you have 12 months it's okay even to have six months or three months whatever it is what are the things to be done in the pre prelims period let me put it this way pre prelims so in pre prelims what you have to do is you have to finish off video watching you have to finish off notes first reading 
and you have to finish off 12 subject wise test so now how to do this it's up to you there are two schools of thoughts right in first school of thought for students they continue their preparation throughout 12 months of optional because what i believe is you have to keep in touch with a static optional like medical science because it is purely memory based if you constantly touch and revise it you will definitely do good with but there are other students who finish off it in first 3 months only then they go for prelims after clearing prelims they come for second reading but problem with this kind of approach is for the next 9 months it's a gray zone and you might forget important things okay you might forget so in that sense it's very important to keep in touch throughout the 12 months of it i'm not asking you to prepare for optional the whole to all 12 months even if you take 1 hour to 2 hour per day you can finish off all the 200 plus hours in the first 3 months itself 1 to 2 hours of preparation now after that in the next 9 months revise notes and give a subject wise test i think that's how you go for it after trailing prelims in the post prelims space 100 day period i want you to write the five gts which are given for better practice so this will become your third revision that means <coughs> first revision is <coughs> i'm sorry first revision is videos second revision is notes plus subject wise test and the third revision is gts <coughs> so this will be and the fourth revision comes in the seven day period between the mains and optional by the time you have lot of content to revise for example you might have underlined your notes you might have bookmarked some of the key videos you might have also have seen the model answers provided with the test series you might have underlined them also you might have maintained your own fourth book to see the last minute revision and all so what we are trying to do in the future is you know the schedule now how to start and how to proceed what we are trying to do now is <coughs> we are giving you very importantly we are trying to put in the latest thing in pipeline that because revision is becoming difficult for memory based topics for all our upsc medco combo course students we are planning to provide you a memory based revision book which covers 100 high yield topics like all the vitamins together all the cranial nerves together all the joint movements together all the scientists are discovered to, together so that you can write proper introduction to your answers if there are any confusing or differentiating topics we are trying to put in together i have already started working on it and finished 52 to 60 topics once the whole process is done i'll launch it right so this revision books helps you in lessening your burden in the late days of your preparation wherein most of the doctors are struggling to revise properly similar we i as i correct n number of papers on a daily basis i could see that we are lacking this imaginative skill to draw diagrams even general study students were scoring higher also drawing the maps wherever possible they are putting the smart charts right so it's very important so we are also in the work the pipeline is that we are creating a image book hand drawn images for better practice i'll come back to other updates but these are the things we are trying to provide in this sense like in the timeline you can include all these resources so the biggest myth is there is no proper guidance some of the students tell me that sir whether should i choose medical science optional because nobody is here to guide sometimes i feel bad because i'm here for last 3 years right last 3 years i have produced almost 19 plus ranks in the 2022 itself and now you see i have i have 1000 plus students starting from third mbbs till md ms dnb stage who are preparing with me plus non mbbs students also so now what are all the resources you have i'll tell you you have focus guide you have final year paper analysis starting from 2020 in the youtube for free focus guide for free in upsc medico combo courses we are providing previous year paper discussions and model answers in detail we are also conducting daily answer writing program two sessions both pre prelims and post prelims we are also conducting live grant test all india every year we are providing a common challenging platform so that you see where do you stand along with your fellow competitors we have already posted all the topper interviews in the youtube channel we are also providing for the last two years interview guidance to 50 plus students who have qualified per year and we are giving medical science perspective to that i am always available 24 into 7 for all the students for personal mentorship if you are my student you will know that and we are providing up to two nets so like every two weeks i edit my notes to make it most compatible with the current scenario so when i say up to two nets 
we are also kind of um, we are updating PSM content we are updating national health program updates and even in the article or blog section of UPSC Medico I'm also inputting a lot of new content like health budget though it may not be important for your answer writing exams optional but it, they add value additions to your general study answers and also they are important in the interview and if you as a medical person if you can bring in health perspective to your answers I think it's like unique selling point for you in the final exams and now we have introduced new individual subject wise tests in combo course for better practice before that we used to club subjects together and make students practice now you have individual subject for example you're starting with anatomy finish off the anatomy videos read notes and give anatomy tests simultaneously like that you have 12 subjects and 12 subject wise tests now and recently we have released edition 2.0 notes with updates from 2023 24 even previous paper discussion is up to date you have a focus guide we have released a focus guide fourth edition which is now subject wise which is more more crisp see as we evolve when i released my first focus guide it has its own flaws but now focus guide 4.0 is up to date in a subject wise manner not in an integrated manner focus guide 3.0 was in an integrated manner wherein students found it difficult to segregate the content right and now I have already posted tips for answer rating. There are around 100 tips how to improve your medical science score. It's posted in the combo course, uh, right? Yeah, in the course curriculum, you'll find it. And yes, I have even released a 45 day syllabus guide for daily answer writing program students to understand how to finish this syllabus in 45 days. And we are working on it. Once it is a success, once I get feedback from my students, I will input the same 45 day schedule in the course also so that as a student medical science aspirant you should be able to finish your syllabus in 45 days just look at that Mera medical science optional is done in 45 days you can master it and i'm working on it and i'll make it possible in the near future as soon as possible now just let me tell you if there is a myth that there is no guidance you have so many things for uh, done in last four to five years and so many ranks uh, to substantiate that now we have a combo course which includes both video course and test series we have daily answer writing program sessions and very importantly the upsc cms and upsc medical science they both exams are conducted by the same board i'm getting lot many requests from even medical science optional students also because they parallelly prepare for uh, combined medical service exam to get into services so that their future is secured government job right so in that sense uh, we're also launching upsc cms soon the work is done I have to upload the videos and make the course structure most uh, interesting and learning for the students right so I'm definitely working on that so these are the things these are the updates um, how to use UPSC Medico for optional preparation because many of the students once they join it they don't know how to start and how to go ahead the whole video the pre uh, the, so far whatever discussed will guide you in a general sense you can apply it to UPSC Medico for example you have bought a course today in the course you have a section called course curriculum i'm talking about combo course you can even buy individual uh, test series individual video course also but i'm always a fan of combo course which comes with 24 months of validity so that you can plan your preparation according to the demand or cycle of the exam now in the initial first three months in the course curriculum we have subject wise tests anatomy physiology biochemistry so like that i have included 12 subjects if you open each folder you will have videos on a topic wise basis according to that along with the previous year paper discussion videos there and then posted you you will get your notes pdf separately just notes and videos are in accordance with each other you don't have to make the complete notes they are in sync but definitely there will be some extra points which will be discussed in videos which are conceptual if you can remember it it's okay if you want to make value addition to the notes also you can do it but you don't have to write a separate notes because notes and videos are in sync with each other let's say anatomy has 24 22 hours of videos even if you do two hours per day you can finish the whole anatomy in 10 days so let's take a two week time period if you're starting it today in next two weeks leisurely for two hours per day you can finish in two weeks the whole anatomy then you can give a subject wise test so for you have 12 weeks into two uh, sorry 12 subjects into two weeks so in next 24 weeks okay if you allot two hours per day you can finish off the whole syllabus okay four weeks is a month 24 is six months you can cut short it 
by doing 4 hours per day you can finish in 12 weeks the whole syllabus that is 3 months you can plan according to that so parallelly if you do videos notes plus subject wise test practice is also done or else you can even do like this you can finish off the whole subjects and notes then in the next 9 months of period the, as I told you the second school of thought okay and then like you have a 12 months for the next prelims right if you're if you're starting so according to that in the first three months only watch videos plus notes and in the next nine months every month or every three weeks start giving one subject wise test and try to finish 12 subject wise test so this is recommendable because at least you are keeping in touch with your optional once in a while because it's a fact based static optional now after finishing in the same section you have GTS also you can download the paper and start writing GTS but do GTS only in the post prelims period so that you would get used to the final exam pattern of writing 500 marks for 6 hours okay how will you practice how will you be able to manage time and all do it in the post prelims phase right so this is how you have to use it everything is in a folder fashion you can happily open it in the web and start learning it so this will conclude the strategy for 2025 I wish you all the best. The journey is alone. You are an alien in the medical community. But once you succeed, people get inspired from you. Okay, you will be a success story. Okay, it's about to come. Just start believing in it. Start believing in it. And I'm here as a Dr. Naveen, Academic Director of UPSC Medico. This is my contact details. You can either call me or email me for any further queries. All the courses are available at upsc.medcampus.io website. Go through it watch this strategy video in detail and make your own strategy and paste it on the paper okay all the keywords that is never try for sense of completion you have resources make use of it and also very importantly uh, learn less revise more okay practice even more that is the, that should be the dictum start answer writing okay finish it off possible give 30 percent due weightage to medicine thinking that you're already doctor I, mera ho jayega, I can do it don't go by that overconfidence it has a 30% of weightage in the final exam. It should be given 30% of the time for preparation. Okay. So practice accordingly. If you do all these things, you will definitely score good in medical science optional. And if you have any further doubts, I am 24 into 7 available to guide you further. Okay. Chalo, signing off.